Welcome to Foundations for College Mathematics 11 by Humaira and Olivia. So who wants to own a dream home? What will it look like? How many bedrooms? A swimming pool or two? Tennis courts? Squash courts? Maybe a movie theater? I want a home like that. Okay, so how are you going to finance this? Winning the lottery? What are your odds of winning? We'll learn what this really means and also figure out how much money you're going to need. Well, I'm sorry to report they had the draw and you didn't win. So now what are you going to do? You'll have to go to the bank and apply for a loan. We'll look at what this means, what all these terms mean, and also take a look at the fine print. Congratulations, your bank loan has been approved. You're now ready to custom design your dream home. This is a 10,000 square foot home with six bedrooms, eight bathrooms, an indoor swimming pool, and much more. To take on this challenge, you need to draw on your background knowledge in mathematics. First of all, you need to create a floor plan which can be done using the Smart Draw software. Here's an example of your first floor, which is a layout plan. You can have different rooms with different arrangements, different shapes and sizes. This is a floor plan of your second floor. Again, a layout of your beth bedrooms, bathrooms, etc. The Smart Draw software is a visual processor used to create your floor plan. This is the Smart Draw tool. You can select floor plan, which will allow you to basically design your floor plan. It has doors and windows, bedroom, beds, appliances, and more. So you can see the list here. It has a lot of details that you can use to create your floor plan. Let's say, for example, you wanted to create your door, or for example, you wanted to create double doors. It has pretty much all the dimensions um, and drawings of what you need to create your floor plan for your house. What I like about this tool is that you can actually use this to get your dimensions, so the, uh, the base and the height. It calculates the area of your, say, double windows. And also, there's a tool that you can use to measure the distance uh, of things. So it really allows you to determine how big your room will be. All right, have fun using it. Next, you're planning on designing a wheelchair ramp for your 80-year-old lovely grandma who often visits you. To do this, you'll need to recall your trigonometry knowledge from your secondary school mathematics. Aren't you glad you took that math course in grade 11? To design your ramp, you'll need to determine the angle of elevation or depression when calculating the height of your ramp. You'll also need to know the length of the ramp and the load it can withstand. You can check out this link, which will provide you a refresher on how you can use trigonometry to build your ramp. You would also like to design a sprinkler system for your big backyard. A good irrigation system will allow your grass to grow green and your flowers to flourish. To do this, you will need to use your knowledge of quadratic equations. From this picture, you notice that the water projection resembles a parabola that opens downwards. Here, again, you need to determine your vertex, which is the, the maximum height of your water, the desired distance the water needs to travel, and the angle of projection to reach the target. These are all mathematical concepts that you had learned in high school. So in this course, we'll learn all about building a dream home. We'll look at how to finance it in terms of your chances of winning a lottery. If you didn't win, what's involved in applying for a bank loan. Then we'll design our dream home using geometry, trigonometry, and quadratic equations. Yes, there will be math, but it will be the fun stuff. So go to guidance and sign up now. Do not pass go. See you in class.